Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And I want to make this video, preface this by saying this is a decision that I kind of do and don't want to make and I will explain why in a bit. But first of all, if you've read the title, the title of this video is I'm moving my live streams, all of them, to DLive. Now, let me just explain to you what DLive is first. In case you don't know, DLive is a platform where you can upload videos and do live streams on. And it's decentralized, it's based on the Steam blockchain, so people can upvote your stuff if they have a Steam account, Steam it, um, and when they upvote it, it's worth a specific amount of money, which is part of the reason why I'm moving, you know, and I will explain this in a bit. But it's also decentralized, which means it is, there's less rules on the platform, and you can do more things, you can be a little bit more creative with it, which is part of the reason why I am moving over there, is you can be more creative with it. And first of all, I want to explain to you what my experience with DLive is. And I've only been on the platform for about, I think, a month now. And it's been a very positive one. Um, there's a lot of people there that I really like to just be... There's a specific group of people there that I like to be around. And it's people that want to not only want to improve the way that they do things, but they also realize that they are creators on the platform. YouTube, it's very hard to see that you have a burden on you to keep the platform going, but when you're big, it's easy to see that with like Logan Paul and Jake Paul. If they do something, it affects everyone. On DLive, if you're on there, you're affecting the platform more than, you know, you are on YouTube. Granted, that's because on YouTube, you know, the, the bigger creators, of course, bigger creators are going to have more of an effect. That's the same thing that's going to happen with DLive eventually. Is bigger creators are going to have more of an effect than little creators. I don't want to complain about that because I understand that. That's life. But on DLive right now, everyone there knows pretty much that they are having a massive effect on the platform, no matter how many followers they have right now, because it's a new platform. And I really love it. It's probably some of my favorite stuff. I've been live streaming, like I said, for a month. And the DLive account, what they do with Steemit, and this is a key, is they have a Steemit account and they upvote stuff that they think is good. And they actually really like me. And that's this part, I probably think because they like me is because I'm more experienced streamer as opposed to other most some other people there. Other people there are more experienced as well. But because of my experience, I bring already a up level of quality to the platform and they upvote me and they give me money basically because of the upvotes and i really need to start making money i've been debating this ever since the new year of whether i needed to start another job or not okay whether i needed to start go go you know somewhere and get a job working for someone else because i need to start making some i need i need to start making some money i'm 19 trying to move out of my house before 21 but my parents want they want to take care of me but they don't and i'll i'll probably get into that after i move out because that that is a that is a interesting story that i think would enlighten a lot of people but dlive upvotes my post and it pays out a lot of money for live streaming a day i believe it pays out because of the way that the steam works it, it says that it pays out you know 30 40 20 dollars whatever it pays out more like 50 to 80 dollars and that's ama that is amazing. That is amazing for not having basically any audience getting paid freaking like 50 to $80 a month or a day, basically, right? And of course, I'm never going to get the upvote every day. My friends and I joke, it is the upvote, right? But I'm moving all my streams to DLive so that I can help build up the platform, all right? And it, Steam It, by the way, has Steam and Steam It and DLive have been providing me with a financial opportunity that YouTube hasn't. YouTube has the audience opportunity. I would love to make an impact via YouTube because YouTube has a bigger reach. But I also want to grow other platforms that I believe in because I am one where I don't like just making stuff for one platform because if that one platform goes away, my entire work goes away. Okay, if I do stuff on DLive and YouTube, if one goes away, I have the other one. And I really need to start making some money. I just need to start making some money. Okay, this is a difficult decision for me. I wish that, ugh, sorry, you know, I, I'm running, 
I'm running out of time to do some things, and I wish that I could keep my stuff here. And I'll eventually probably do double stream to DLive and YouTube and Twitch, you know, of course include Twitch. I will probably, once I, you know, have my own internet and I can pay for super high speed internet, heck yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's a super high speed computer, you know, pay for services to do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stream to all these different platforms. But for now, I need to exclusively stream on the DLive because it is making me money that I could potentially live off of, okay? DLive themselves have been able, like, they one account, all right, one service has been able, I make, a, I could literally, if I did a stream, if they gave me one upload every day, I could live off of it. That is a crazy experience, which is one of the reasons why I like Steam it and DLive and D, DTube and all that. So, if you guys want to keep watching the live stream, make a DLive account, make a Steemit account. I want you guys to check out Steemit too. I can't stress this enough. Don't be YouTube exclusive. Whether it's for viewing content, you know, making stuff or viewing stuff. Because if YouTube goes away, that's it. We're done. So, that's it. I hope that you know you guys can understand this my audience is pretty smart they will you guys will understand why and if not feel free to ask me any questions in the in the description and, and not the description the comment section and all of that stuff so that's it thank you for watching this is just a more of an update video i know i haven't been streaming to youtube and i felt kind of bad that i didn't explain why so yeah just ask me all your questions once again d live you know i i like it the, the culture there of DLive, I think, is way more positive. I didn't say this. DLive is way more positive than YouTube. And I want to be around positive people, too. So I think after, once money is not an issue, I still might stream mostly to DLive because it's more positive people there. So, yeah, that's it. You guys can check out my Steemit blog and DLive account. And I'll have the links in the description below. And, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it, post of whatever I decide to make.